Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am super excited to film. So this video is going to be all the supplies you need to survive this summer, and that's going to be from skincare to beauty to health, like everything you need to have before the summer. Today is June 20th, my boyfriend's birthday, also the day before summer, so what perfect time to film this video. But yeah, so if you're interested in seeing my summer essential must-have products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with skincare products first. So summer is the time for us ladies to come out of hibernation and start our shaving routines again, unfortunately. So you're going to need a good razor this season. Let's just say I have had my fair share with razors. I have tried quite a bit and just recently I've started trying something new. So I came across a Gillette razor in my house that wasn't being used, it was all in the package, but I my razor was really dull so I'm like, oh what the heck, I'll just use this one. And oh my gosh, ever since I started using this razor, I have not been let down. I've been using the Gillette Fusion razor like this for men's. I think it's the five blade one that I use and it has changed the game for me. I swear to you, this men's razors do a way better job than any women razor I've ever tried before. If you disagree with me, I will see you in the comment section of this video because this has changed the game. This razor right here gets the closest shave I've ever had with no stubble, no nicks. Like this is honestly a game changer. If you are a girl and you're finding like you get a lot of, a lot of razor bumps or it's your razor just hasn't been getting a really close shave and things like that. Me too. I went through it. I completely agree. Even with a brand new like Venus razor. Yeah, that is going to happen. But ever since I started using this Gillette Fusion one, the game's been changed. This gets the closest shape I've ever had. Like, I just can't say enough. Honestly, go out and get a Gillette razor right now. I would highly recommend this. And since we're on the topic of shaving, I'll just go into my next product I have right here. And this is the Tend Skin Solution, and it helps with razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and razor burn. This product is amazing. So if you have dealt with any of these things, you know how much of a struggle it is. Like if you get some really bad razor bumps just after shaving, cause you're going to the beach the next day, you're screwed. It's literally like the end of the world. It's like, it's one of those things that it's, it feels embarrassing, but it's such a normal thing. I don't know, getting that kind of stuff is such a normal thing. I know it's not really talked about that much, but it's normal to get. It's just frustrating. So this product right here has like literally saved my life. The lady that actually does my waxing actually recommended this and honestly, it's amazing. So this product is just like this and it a, has a roll on applicator. So you kind of just roll it onto the area that you're applying it to. So I use this with my bikini area. This product works so well. I apply this every night before I go to bed and I use this to help prevent and treat all these things. I find this is really good for preventing them. Ever since I started using it, I've gotten less. It's also helped treat any that I had that were stubborn and just like weren't really going away. So I would highly recommend this stuff. This is like honestly a summer essential. Like if you get any of those things, I would highly recommend this. I believe they also have an ointment too that you can apply directly, almost like a spot treatment to your ingrown hairs and stuff like that. But I haven't tried that yet. But if I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, but all I know is this solution right here works super well and this is honestly summer bikini weather must have. No. Alright, so I just got self tanner all over my hand. Okay, well a good start to my next product I'm going to talk about and this is going to be the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark and I have just recently gotten into self tanning and this one I've been loving so much. It is super beginner friendly and the tan is like a perfect beautiful golden Australian tan like it does say and I find it's always a very even base. I never get patchy or find spots that are usually like usually darker than others, but that could also be due to like me always doing, I guess, a good job of exfoliating and moisturizing the right areas before. But I just find that this is really hard to mess up with. This is basically like beginner proof. 
me self tanning for the first time with this I was very nervous I had never done it before and like it turned out good and I do have super pale skin so if you have more pale skin like me I would recommend starting off with an hour with this first an hour gives you a nice light just overall good tan like more of a year-round tan that you could keep but then when I sleep in this and leave it on for like eight hours that's more of a beautiful like mid-summer mid-july kind of tan so just i mean leave it on as long as you personally would like to get tan i usually like to leave this on for the eight hours like when i'm self tanning i want to be like tan tan i want to be super beautiful goddess tan all around and this does the job super beginner friendly the guide in this is really good because it obviously it shows you where you've already applied the self tanner and I don't know, it, it smells good too. I know a lot of people don't like the self-tanner smell. This one kind of smells like coconuts. And um, it's good, I really don't have anything bad to say about the self-tanner, I would highly recommend this. And this is definitely a summer essential if you're someone who likes to self-tan. I would highly recommend Bondi Sands. They have a relatively cheap price compared to their competitors. And I think they usually have quite a bit of sales like year round too and that's when I like to stock up on it because I think here in Canada you can only get it online. If I'm wrong, please correct me and leave it in the description where I can get this because I would love to not have to order this online. But yeah, so summer essential number three. Also, don't forget to pick up your metal straws and save the turtles. But for real though, this was 99 cents at Bulk Barn. I would highly, highly recommend. So the last skincare product I'm gonna be talking about today is this Spa Sugar Scrub, and it's lemongrass plus green tea, and it's for hands, feet, and body. And the company is BCL. I don't even remember where I got this from. I, I'm gonna be honest, I think I bought this like three years ago, but I didn't really use it as much when I first got it, and I've just recently been using the shit out of this lately. It is working so well. Like if you want a really good exfoliator that's gonna make your skin glow, get off any of that old self tanner or any of that dry, dead skin, then get this one because I find a lot of exfoliators are like too gentle. Like when you rub it into your skin, it kind of dissolves and it doesn't really do that much or it leaves like a weird residue. This one is honestly the best one I've ever tried. And I just find it honestly does the best job. It really gets that dead skin off. Like you can feel it really exfoliating your skin when you use it. Like when I'm done using it, my skin will be pink, but that means it's doing its, its job. So like it's good. And it also smells amazing. Here, I'll just open it up and let you guys take a look at it. That's what it looks like. They also had different scents and stuff, but I just chose lemongrass and green tea for some reason. I don't remember why. But yeah, I don't know. I just a really good exfoliator. It kind of ties in with self tanner. This is what I would use when scrubbing off my old self tan. But I would probably wait to apply the self tan the next day because it does leave a very like mild residue on your skin. A little bit of like I feel like it's a bit moisturizing or something. Yeah, so here it says naturally hydrating and antioxidant rich with argan oil. So that must be it. It has like some kind of moisturizing residue. So I'd maybe wait the next day to apply your self tan. But this is very good for getting off any dead skin, any old self tanner. This is gonna leave your skin looking flawless this summer. So next I'm gonna be moving on to the beauty products for my summer essentials that I've chosen. So the first product here is the botanical sunscreen that is tinted in SPF 50 and this is by Australian gold and this is a mineral lotion with long greasy antioxidant rich UVA slash UVB protection and also this is water resistant and this lasts on the skin for 80 minutes and I like to use this on my face I love the tinted color this leaves on the skin if you're someone who likes very minimalistic makeup in the summer like who really wants to apply a full face of makeup i like to apply this it gives me a nice base by no means does this give you any coverage though let me just be straight with you this basically helps with any discoloration like for me i have a lot of pink undertone in my skin so this tinted moisturizer kind of conceals some of it it makes my skin look a bit more like one tone but it does not do any like coverage whatsoever but I just really like this for summer because I'll put this on and then use a little bit of concealer to touch up any acne or anything. So I think this is a really good summer essential. Also, you need to be putting SPF on your skin. Like, let's be real here. 
There is literally so many studies that prove how bad the sun is to your skin. Like why do people still not use SPF stuff when it can make such a big difference in your aging and your health, especially if you have any kind of family history of skin cancer or anything, you need to be putting on your SPF. This is turning into a rant, but I'm honestly like no skin professional or like dermatologist or anything like that it's kind of just like basic knowledge that obviously the sun and everything is really bad for your skin so you always need to be protecting yourself so i like to use this on the daily in the summer it is really good um since i've been using this i've gotten in no sunburns no blistering like i usually do so this is, works really well and an spf 50 is pretty good i would highly recommend this product it also smells really good too so next for beauty products is this L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist right here. And I just recently purchased this. This is a must have for the summer. Well, this mist is perfect for a setting spray or even just like a hydrating spray throughout the day, but it gives you a really nice, beautiful glow. And it's not glittery or anything, so it gives you a nice kind of glow from within look. And that's the vibe for summer. I feel like summer makeup is usually glowing from within, nice glowy healthy looking skin and this spray is going to give you that the nozzle on this bottle is the best one i have ever used out of all my setting sprays it gives you the most beautiful like light even mist like it doesn't drench your face i just really like the nice glowy finish this gives me and it'll hydrate your skin throughout the day so this is more like a, a setting spray or a fresher you could even use this just to prep your skin before your makeup but I would just say this is a go-to for the summer. It smells really good too. This is, is considered like a dew mist for your face. So it just gives you like that perfect dewy look. And I'm just reading now, it says infused with coconut and vitamin C. Like, what? That is so good. Like go pick this up right now. I think I got this from Walmart. This is honestly, this is a summer essential. That's why it's in this video. Obviously, that's the title of the video. <laughs> But go get this, okay? Literally this whole video, if you think about it, is me telling you products you have to go waste your money on and that you need this summer. Like, who do I think I am? Next for beauty is this Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. And this is a really good uh, primer for your makeup in the summer. I really like the way this leaves my skin feeling once I put this on. So I usually just put a couple drops in my hand and I'll rub it all into my skin, but especially in my T-zone area, but it leaves your skin feeling tacky and that's when you know the primer is working. When it's kind of tacky, like that's the whole point of a primer is it's supposed to like help your makeup kind of stick to your face, be like a good base. I, I think that's the point of primers. I, I don't really know. A lot of primers don't do that. A lot of primers are basically just like hydration for your face. This one right here, I feel like actually works. Like it makes your skin tacky so you know that the makeup's gonna stick on. Have I noticed a huge difference? Maybe not, but like, I definitely noticed some kind of difference. Like it's tacky, so I think my makeup probably stays on longer. It smells super good too. Like it smells like roses. It has, so this is kind of what it looks like. And it has a little bit of shimmer in the primer. So if you're not into that, then this isn't really the product for you. But basically like once again, this is giving you that dewy undertone look with your makeup. like. I just feel like that's really trendy for summer makeup, glowy, hydration, that's the vibe. So if you're not really into that, then this might not be the product for you. But I don't know, I personally just really like the feeling of this on my skin. It gives you a really nice glow. This is really good to put underneath your makeup. And like it makes my skin tacky, so I'm just to assume it's working, but I would recommend this for the summer. Okay, so next in my summer essentials, we're gonna move on to food. So I have been literally obsessed with these chocolates for the past three months. And this is a really good summer snack. Like in the summer, we're trying to stay fit. We're trying to stay healthy. And this, it's all right. It's a better alternative than sitting down to a bag of Swedish fish. Like it's better. Well, this is the Brookside dark chocolate acai and blueberry flavored chocolates. They're not even that like unhealthy to be honest. Like. For 16 pieces, it's 170 calories, eight grams of fat, five, gram, five milligrams of cholesterol, 55 milligrams of sodium, 28 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, 24 grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. But that's for 16 pieces, like that's quite a bit. That's not, it's not like, I don't know. They're so good, like honestly, like this is what they look like. 
I'm sure you know what Brookside chocolates look like. So I've gotten, this bag is actually from like Costco. It's one of the bigger sized bags they have. It's family size. But I think this is like my third bag I've went through of these. Like basically at this rate, I'm going through like one of these a month. Like I haven't put on any extra weight. So I mean, they're healthy. But if you don't like dark chocolate though, you probably won't like this. Cause like, like you can notice the dark chocolate, but this chocolate has actually made me start to like dark chocolate. Like I didn't think I really liked it before I tried this, but now I love dark chocolate. So this is a really good healthy summer snack to bring with you to the beach or something. Puts them in a little baggie. But yeah, I'd really recommend these. So next I'm gonna talk about a little bit of hygiene. And I'm gonna talk about the deodorant I use. So the deodorant I use is the Secret Clear Gel Ooh La La Lavender Deodorant. And if you haven't heard about this, where have you been? Because I'm sick of the white deodorants that leave your clothes with deodorant marks and they crumble in your armpits and like you see it when you lift up your arms, like white chunks, like I'm sick of that, I'm sick. I feel like boys are always getting the better end of everything with their clear, they already have their clear deodorants. Like they, do they even have a white basic deodorant? I think all of their deodorants are like clear. Like they don't even, I don't even know, but I'm sick of it. I just remember vividly my childhood always having to struggle with having deodorant stains all over my clothes. Like you'd put on a fresh clean shirt out of the dryer and there's already deodorant stains all over it. This has honestly like changed the game. This is like a long lasting, really good deodorant. They have some really good scents. My favorite is the Ooh La La Lavender one but like it's clear so you don't see it and it doesn't get all of your clothes and ruin your cute summer outfit so this is a must have we're gonna we're trying to be we're trying to keep up a good hygiene this summer okay like use it use your deodorant don't be don't be that person that doesn't use deodorant or like uses deodorant and has deodorant marks all over your clothes like just use a clear one you're not gonna see it, you're gonna smell great, it's long lasting, and it doesn't give me any irritations on my armpits, like I have sensitive skin, it doesn't do any of that. So yeah, highly recommend this. Please take care of your hygiene this summer and don't be gross and disgusting. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about today are scrunchies. So it's a little bit of hair care in here. And you need your scrunchies for this summer because we're trying to not have dry, damaged, broken hair. It is 2019. We all know that ponytails are not good for your hair. They they cause damage to your hair. Like a lot of people's hair like breaks off. Like if you wear ponytails a lot, you know the breakage and stuff it does to your hair. And especially if you're someone that dyes your hair and your hair is already even more weak, it is extremely prone to breakage. So I would highly recommend picking up a good pack of scrunchies. I know they like I've seen going around social media that they have like these big packs of like 16 I think on Amazon that you can get for super cheap. I would highly recommend get some of those. I honestly couldn't even tell you the last time I have used a ponytail. Like probably like 2012. It's been a long time. Like I've been on the scrunchie bandwagon for quite a long time. They have so many cute colors. Like they're so perfect for summer. You can pair them with all of your different outfits. I'm wearing one right now on my wrist in this black one. Like I always have one on my wrist. You never know when you're gonna have to whip your hair up and get it out of your face. So I would highly recommend, yeah, getting like a big pack of scrunchies to keep your hair from breaking. They're super cute. Go with your cute summer outfits. You can wear them as a little bracelet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So hopefully after watching this video, you've come away with some good products to throw in your cart for this summer. So you're all prepped, ready to go. Your skin's gonna be looking flawless. You're gonna be smelling great. You're welcome. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.